Chloe and I are taking off on our first camping adventure of 2024. Ariane and G are going to meet us at the campground a little later. It is raining pretty good out and we're going to go try to get set up and everything uh, before they get out and get checked in. We can check in at 2. We're going to be a little bit early. Um, I'm assuming they'll just let us go in, but we'll see if we got to wait. We got to wait, but we'll see what uh, this adventure brings uh, in a little bit here. Hopefully the weather clears up. All right, so as you guys can see right here, we already got the toolbox out. We had to tighten some screws on the door. So I would say go through your camper and really check out what kind of screws and stuff. This is like the square head. Um, you guys can see that. So I have this bit right thrown in there. The screen door was loose, so it wasn't shutting good. And of course it's only gonna happen when it's raining out. So, we got the tools back out and uh, got that situation done and now we're just putting the stabilizers out so always remember don't give it too many ugga duggas with the ugga dugga gun you want to have that hit the board or or your your plastic um, links blocks like I have right here after they hit those things I give it just a like a quarter turn or so I leave my level mate pro up so I can make sure I'm not jacking the camper up um so you also don't want these fully extended you guys want to put we'll put some blocking underneath here um the more extended out they are the less they're really doing anything um think of it when you're carrying a heavy box you don't carry it out like this you carry it close to your body it's the same idea with these things and you don't want to use these to level your camper it's just for stabilizing so that's what we're doing right now Obvious fact, don't wear white shoes when you're camping. Hey, come back. Cause they'll get dirty. <laughs> I mean, Tucker can't help it. He always has white shoes. Oh, there's a spider. I don't like spiders. Oh, that's like a second time. Yes. Uh, So basically what I was doing there was adjusting the water pressure regulator. I didn't put it on at first because I had some issues with the rubber gasket and uh, it's raining, but I decided to take it back off and just get it fixed and addressed right now. Um, I'm already soaked, so I don't want it anything over 60 PSI. And 
it was well over that. Um, it was actually 80, so that's way too much for these campers. Um, so I'm gonna keep an eye on that. It's actually right at 60. I'm probably gonna put it down a little bit more and just kind of get under that threshold of 60 that I like. So if you guys have watched our camping videos at all from last year, you know that every time we hook onto this camper, we get rain. The crappy part about this one, it's rain and it's uh, low to mid 60s. Hoping some blue skies come on our way though. We are all set up. Uh, we actually went in relaxed for a little while and the rain's starting to stop. So we decided to come outside. And I want to show you guys one of my new toys for the 2024 camping season. So in our Grey Wolf, uh, it comes automatic with this quick disconnect that goes to our propane tanks. There was a shut off right here, so that's on. That's off. When it's on, you can buy these hoses, different lengths. And these will come hooked directly to your Blackstone. And I didn't have to do really anything, so just figure out, you know, that shut off, which I missed the first time. I was wondering where it was. But now there's no more green bottles rolling around the bay of your camper, your truck, or inside the camper. And when you're doing something like camping with limited amounts of space, that's awesome to have. Um, if your camper does not come with that quick connect, uh, I believe you can get a kit and you can do it yourself. Um, I would probably attempt it if you're handy, you probably could, but being propane that you're dealing with, just be sure that you're you're doing it correctly. That's nothing to play around with, um, but you should be able to buy a kit and hook directly to your bottles up front. So now we're gonna be doing that for this year and it's gonna be awesome not to have to deal with those little bottles and uh, crawling halfway up into the bottom bay to get them because they rolled all the way back there. So. I'm actually super excited about that, as simple as it is. Um, but you guys should look into it. If you get a quick connect right there, that's what it's for. Super easy setup, and uh, just get the right hose, and you'll be good to go. something nice we're ordering out aren't we chicken mm. basket grilled cheese pizza hey guys we're um my dad's going to go get the food right now and my favorite part about camping is drum mining but unfortunately we don't have it <laughs> and swimming yeah and it's not very warm outside for swimming it's like 60 degrees so that's probably not good my dad is right i okay i like stanley's okay i have one and she has one she doesn't have it with her dark pink one but um now, yeah, just keep your ice a lot longer, but just a fun fact, um, if you don't have a lot of ice, that's okay, but if you want your Stanley to keep ice for a long time, you have to put a lot of ice. I put 16 ice cubes in here, and it lasts me until, like, four, like 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. Yeah, I only put 4 ice cubes, because... Yeah, we don't want to waste ice cubes, but I do, but, you know, we don't talk about that. But today, on this trip, we only have a few days, so we're not so much fun. Yep. Right now, Tinker is in the background. Bed. She's in bed. And we have our beds all set up. Jeez, is a little messy. Oh, that's my Stanley on one. But yeah, we're gonna get our food soon. We have a great time, and I hope that you guys like and subscribe, and it'll make us really happy. And click the bell! And click the bell. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna hit hard and fast, I bet. I don't wanna get caught in it either. The girls have decided to get their bikes out, That's ignoring the signs that something's coming. Did you guys enjoy your bike ride? Mm -hmm. How far yeah. did you get? Uh, you were that hard. 
And Tucker did not like it. <laughs> Come here. Always my mom. All right, so it's still raining out, but we are getting dressed anyway because we have a special treat. What are we doing right now? We are going to check out Fogbrook as a wedding venue. So they have a golf course, a restaurant, a campground, and a wedding venue. And uh, since we're camping here, we are going to go check it out and see if this is going to be the destination for the wedding and the uh, after party. So are you going to say yes to the wedding venue? Isn't that a show? Um, no. No. It, what is it? What are we saying yes to? We aren't saying yes to anything today. <laughs> are you excited? Yeah. She said yes. <laughs> well, it's still raining on and off. And uh, uh, it's pretty much turned into a nap and movie day. And I'm doing a little uh, editing work on some videos. As you can see... Nappers. They're watching the mask right now. I'm gonna head back in. I'm gonna show you guys this all of a sudden. While I'm out here, the sun poked out around a cloud. Hey, pretty lady, I saw you had a dog over here. I was wondering if you had a boyfriend. No. Do you get an ex-boyfriend? Yeah. What is he now? Ex-boyfriend. So the sun finally came out for more than two seconds. So the crazy is in the pool. Tucker finally got to leave the campsite. So this is Fog Brook. There is a campground here, 18 hole golf course with a driving range. There is a restaurant up front, Foggy's Pub, which we like. And there is a, what is it called babe? It's just a venue center, I guess. It's not just weddings they do proms and eighth grade dances I think so quite a bit of stuff all in one location out here in Palmyra and that pretty thing is right there she won't always be here though sorry so I told Ariane that it's unacceptable for anything other than a red hot dog if you are not watching from Maine, you might have to Google what that is, but it's the only acceptable hot dog. However, I don't love these ones <laughs> have cheese in them. And cheese is probably one of my favorite foods, so I'll allow it. Do you allow it? Yeah. Do you love you some cheese? Yes. Gee, do you love cheese? Yep. We appreciate you guys coming out on this rainy adventure this weekend uh, at Fog Brook Resort. And uh, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, it would uh, be super awesome if you guys did. We really appreciate that. Feel free to like and share this video with your friends. Uh, if they're into camping, fishing, hiking, four-wheeling, uh, we do a ton of videos on that stuff as well. Uh, we're also going to try to get into a little bit more product review and, and different hacks that we do with the camper. So if you're interested in seeing some things, um, we're going to try to work on kind of explaining the way that we do things. And maybe it can help you guys out as well. <laughs>
just pointed out what a perfect log cabin build I just made for that nice fire we got there. The other thing you guys might have noticed is these propane tanks with the ignitable end on it. I went to these instead of a lighter. So much easier. I got a bunch of these in the garage. Lights faster. Just make sure, even if there's no kids around, separate these things. That way you don't got propane. This knob doesn't get hit and you get it leaking all through wherever you're storing it. Um, but yeah, I've seen people using these. I never really thought of it, but what a game changer it is to have these in there. I do recommend the ignitable one. That way you don't still need your lighter to light it. So we're going to sit around next to the fire. And these people mentioned something about chocolate and graham crackers and marshmallows or something crazy like that. So maybe we'll get those out. Get in here, G. Show the people what you cooked. Come here. Marshmallows. That's what it's called? Yes. You didn't even heat your marshmallow up enough to melt the chocolate. Is that delicious? Yes. Papa would not like that. He does not like marshmallow. You know that? <laughs> just brought G to school. Uh, I took Chloe back to her mom's last night because she has school today too. Uh, we actually didn't account for snow days when we planned this trip uh, this winter so the snow days actually pushed uh, school another week so unfortunately they weren't able to stay until Monday. Well G was but she had to get up early for school. Uh, so a little poor planning on our part. Overall it was a pretty rainy weekend. Uh, we woke up this morning and around the 50 degree mark. Um, but it was still fun. It's fun to get away from the house. And uh, obviously I took Friday and Monday off from work. So that's always good too. Uh, Tucker was good all, all weekend too. He loves camping. Uh, anything to do with getting in the truck and going somewhere. He's all about it. So uh, we're going to wrap this thing up. Uh, when Ariane gets back, we're probably just going to have a coffee and, uh, slowly start packing it up and uh, we got about 39 days i believe was the count for our next trip to spacious skies and uh we're gonna take you guys along on that one too stay tuned <laughs>